Excitement Elephant's Birthday. Mr Zebra the Postman is delivering a letter to Peppa's house. Oh, look. Someone's got a party invitation. It must be for me. It says, to George Pig from Edmund Elephant. Please come to my party. Doesn't it say George and Peppa? No, just George. Hmm. I didn't want to go to a silly baby party anyway. Hello? Oh, it's for you, Pepper. It's Emily Elephant. Hello. Hello, Pepper. Do you want to come to Edmund's party as my friend? Oh, yes, please. My mummy wants us to help with the little ones. Help? Yes, I can help. Danny and Susie are helpers too. Oh, goody. <laughs> Everyone is here for Edmund Elephant's party. <laughs> oh, the helpers are here. Hello, Hello Mrs. Elephant. Elephant. Let's get this party started. <laughs> Who wants to play musical statues? Yay! This is what you do. Dance when the music is playing. And when it stops, freeze like a statue. Ready, steady, go! Still blinking. You're out. <laughs> You're moving, George. You're out. <laughs> Richard and Edmund are out. <laughs> so Zaza is the winner. Hooray! You've got a medal. It's made of real plastic gold. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, musical statues is over. Lovely. Yay. Now it's time for pass the parcel. Yay! When the music plays, pass the parcel round. When the music stops, take some paper off. Ready, steady, go! George, pass the parcel. Edmund has got a medal. <laughs> Hurry up, Richard. Just take the paper off. Richard has got a medal. <laughs> George has got a medal. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, George isn't passing the parcel. <laughs> no, George, that is Zaza's medal. <laughs> it's a giant teddy. Edmund has won. is finished. Um, lovely. Now it's time for food. Hooray! <laughs> oh, the helpers have taken all the seats. <laughs> this is Edmund's party, remember? The helpers can eat after the little ones. Oh, oh yes. yes. We're the helpers. <laughs> Goose, please. Juice, please. Juice, please. Jelly, please. Jelly, jelly. More, please. Happy birthday, Edmund. Happy, Happy birthday, Edmund. <laughs> it is the end of the party. Thank you to the helpers. You all worked really hard. Yes. It's not easy looking after little children. <sighs> I need to lie down. I need a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig's birthday. Today is Mummy Pig's birthday. Daddy Pig has made Mummy Pig breakfast in bed. Happy birthday, Mummy Pig. Peppa and George have made Mummy Pig a birthday card. Happy birthday, Mummy. <laughs> oh, what a lovely birthday surprise. 
And there are more surprises to come. Enjoy your birthday breakfast. Take your time. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> yummy. Quick, we have to get everything else ready. Daddy Pig has made a birthday cake for Mummy Pig. We've just got to put the candles on. <laughs> One, two... Here I come. Mummy Pig has finished her birthday breakfast. Mummy's coming. Oh, no. We're not ready yet. Uh, who is it? It's Mummy. Can I come in? No, no! <laughs> is there something secret going on? Uh, no. Nothing's going on. <laughs> but you can't come in. I see. <laughs> Mummy Pig, why don't you relax in the sitting room? That sounds nice. Well, it is your birthday. <laughs> OK, Peppa. I think I know what the sitting room is. <laughs> here's a nice magazine. Thank you, Peppa. And here's some pretty music. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> we need the same number of candles as Mummy's age. One, two... Three? Oh, dear. We haven't got nearly enough candles. Daddy, how old is Mummy? I'll whisper it in your ear. Wow! Really old. <laughs> you know, I think three candles will be fine. Mummy Pig's birthday cake is ready. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> we just have to put up the decorations in the sitting room. <sighs> Oh, there you all are. I was getting a little bored. Mummy, would you like to have a nice walk in the garden? <laughs> Do I have any choice? Nope. <laughs> Bye-bye, Mummy. Have a lovely walk. We'll call you when it's safe to come back in. I've forgotten what hard work birthdays were. <laughs> Daddy Pig, Pepper and George are decorating the sitting room. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun! Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig have arrived for Mummy Pig's birthday. Happy birthday, Mummy Pig. Aren't you coming inside? Oh, I can't come in yet. Daddy Pig, Peppa and George are doing secret things for my birthday. How lovely. <laughs> See you later. Bye. <laughs> Mummy! Would you like to come inside now? I'd love to. Close your eyes. Keep your eyes closed, Mummy. <laughs> One, two, three. Open your eyes. Yay! Happy Happy birthday, birthday, Mummy. Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely surprise. Blow the candles out and make a wish. <sighs> Mummy, Mummy, open your present. Can you guess what it is? I've no idea. Open it and see. It's a beautiful dress. Oh. You're beautiful, Mummy. <laughs> now you just need somewhere nice to wear it. What's this? Two tickets to the theatre. Tonight. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Mummy Pig loves going to the theatre. And Granny Pig and I are going to babysit the little ones. Hooray! <laughs> what a super birthday. I'm the luckiest mummy in the whole world. And the most beautiful. George's birthday. Today is George's birthday. <laughs> it is very early in the morning. <laughs> George! It's too early. Dinosaur. <laughs> Go back to bed. <laughs> it sounds like someone's up bright and early. <laughs> Happy birthday, George. George. George woke me up. You woke everyone up on your birthday, Peppa. That was different. That was my birthday. And today is George's birthday. Uh, happy birthday, George. <laughs> Here's your present, George. 
Ooh. Dinosaur! <laughs> I knew it would be some sort of dinosaur thingy. Ho, <laughs> Squeeze its tummy. Too scary! <laughs> George, I've made you a birthday card. Can you guess what the picture is? George cannot guess. I was going to paint you a flower. Oh. George does not like flowers. But in the end, I painted you a dinosaur. That's a lovely picture, Pepper. Yes, I'm very good at painting. <laughs> now, we're going somewhere very special for George's birthday treat. Yippee! Let's go! Where are we going? You'll see. <laughs> the family are setting off for George's birthday treat. Are we going to the circus? No, but it's somewhere just as good. Um, is it the cinema? No, much better. I just can't guess. Where can they be going? We're here. The family have arrived at the museum. Why are we at the museum? Come on, you'll see. What can George's birthday treat be? George, what do you like best in the whole world? Dinosaur. <laughs> Ooh, dinosaur. George's birthday treat is a visit to the museum dinosaur room. Huh, silly old dinosaurs again. <laughs> dinosaur. <gasps> Don't be frightened, George. It's not a real dinosaur. It's just a robot. Look, I stand on this spot and... <laughs> and now, there's another surprise. <laughs> All of George and Peppa's friends are here. Surprise! <laughs> Mummy Rabbit has made a birthday cake for George. Can anyone guess what sort of cake it is? A dinosaur cake. It is! What an amazing guess, Peppa! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, George! <laughs> there's one last surprise. Follow me. <laughs> what is the last surprise? <laughs> what do you think it is, Peppa? It's probably something to do with dinosaurs. Oh, what's that? <laughs> it just needs to be filled with air. I know, I know. It's a bouncy castle. Peppa loves bouncy castles. But if it's for George... Why isn't it something to do with dinosaurs? <laughs> it is a dinosaur. A bouncy dinosaur. Hooray! <laughs> George loves bouncy dinosaurs. Everyone loves bouncy dinosaurs. <laughs> this is great. Happy birthday, George. <laughs> Grandpa Pig is taking Pepper and George sailing. Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig! Here are Mr. Stallion and Mrs. Corgi. They are members of the sailing club. Hello! We're just going out for a sail. It's a bit early for sailing. Yes, you can't go sailing now. Thank you for your advice. See you later. Grandpa, your friend said that we can't go sailing yet. They don't know what they're talking about. Oh, bother. Grandpa's boat is stuck in the mud. There's no water, Grandpa. Uh, yes. The tide seems to be out. So we can't go sailing? Don't worry. The water will come back again soon and the boat will rise up. The water is coming back. It certainly is. The water is lifting Grandpa's boat out of the mud. <laughs> We're bobbing up and down. Let's go sailing. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> I love sailing. 
Oh, hi there, Grandpa Pig. Are you okay, though? Do you need any help or advice, old chap? We're doing just fine, thank you. Bye. Grandpa, they're going quicker than us. There's no need to hurry when you're sailing. <laughs> We're bobbing up and down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. <laughs> Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig. Time to head back if you don't want to miss the tide. If you leave it too late, you'll get stuck in the mud. Aha, right you are. Goodbye. I don't listen to them. I know more about the tides than they ever will. <laughs> the boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up. Oh, we've stopped bobbing. Ah, the tide seems to have gone out. Are we stuck in the mud, Grandpa? Yes, but only until the tide changes, then the water will lift us up again. When will the water come back? Uh, tomorrow morning. Oh. We'll just have to spend the night on the boat. A sleepover! Hooray! <laughs> I'd better give Granny Pig a call. Hello? Hello, Granny Pig. We've decided to spend the night out on the boat. <laughs> you mean you've got the tides wrong? No, no, of course not. I, I just... We're uh... stuck in the mud, Granny. <laughs> I knew it. It's an adventure, Granny. We'll see you in the morning. Where will we sleep, Grandpa? Here. <laughs> The boat has two little bunk beds. Ooh. <laughs> and I will sleep on deck under the stars. Night, night, Grandpa. <laughs> night, night, Pepper and George. Pepper and George are asleep in the bunks. Grandpa Pig is asleep on the deck. The stars are twinkling in the sky above. It is morning. We're bobbing up and down. <laughs> Look, children, the water is back. Hooray! Grandpa Pig's boat is floating again. Time to sail home. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. The boat bobs up and down. <laughs> Granny Pig has come to meet Pepper and George. Granny Pig! Thank you. Hello, my little one. Did you have a nice time? Yes! We got stuck in the mud and had a sleepover. <laughs> Pepper loves sailing. Everyone loves sailing. Grumpy Rabbit's Dinosaur Park. Today is Freddy Fox's birthday and all the children are going on a big adventure. Where are we going for your birthday? Hey, Freddy. I don't know, but I can't wait to get there. We're here. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Grumpy Rabbit's Dinosaur Park. Ooh, dinosaur. <laughs> George loves dinosaurs. Are there really dinosaurs here? No, just pretend ones. For you. Real dinosaurs died out 65 million years ago. Edmund knows a lot about dinosaurs. He is a clever clogs. But we've got better than real dinosaurs. We've got singing dinosaurs. We are the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs. We are the dinosaurs. Listen to us, <laughs> They're a bit small. Yes. Aren't dinosaurs meant to be big? Ah, oh, yes. We do have a big dinosaur. A real whopper. Uh, would you like to meet it? Yes, yes, please. These are its footprints. We just have to follow them. Ooh. These footprints look very real. Are you sure there's no living dinosaurs about, Grumpy Rabbit? Uh, quite sure, Daddy Pig. Over the boulders! 
Christmas, everyone! <laughs> Across the bridge! <laughs> Through the cave! <laughs> oh, the footprints have stopped. Look! There are some green steps. It's a big slide! Whee! Yes, it's my whopping ginormous dinosaur slide! Ah! <laughs> that is some dinosaur. He's a brontosaurus! Actually, the correct name is a patasaurus. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Yes. Right, my little explorers. Are you ready for the next bit of the adventure? Yes, Granny Rabbit! We have to find an egg. An egg? But eggs are little. It could be anywhere. Leave it to me. Foxies love hunting for eggs. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. Wow! What an egg! It's huge! Why is the egg so big? It's a dinosaur egg! Is it real? No, it's better than real. It's pretend! Watch this! <laughs> the dinosaur egg has a birthday cake inside it. <laughs> it's not a pretend cake, is it, Grumpy Rabbit? No, the cake is very real and very tasty. Who wants some? Me! Me! Birthday boy first. Here you go, Freddy. <sighs> Happy birthday, Freddy! <laughs> Time for a bit of song and dance. Everyone, copy me. Do the stomp, do the dinosaur stomp, do the roar, do the dinosaur roar. Stomp, 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 roar, roar, roar. Do the dinosaur stomp. <laughs> this is my best birthday ever. <laughs> Danny's pirate party. Today is Danny Dog's birthday. He is having a party. <laughs> Yo ho ho! Everyone has come dressed as pirates. <laughs> Yo ho ho! Pedro Pony is dressed as a cowboy. Yeah. Ahoy there, me hearties! It is Grandad Dog, dressed as a pirate. Hello, Grandad Dog. Call me Dogbeard. Hello, Dogbeard. Which of ye scurvy pirates crave a ration of swashbuckling o'er the brainy seas? Why is he talking funny? <laughs> That's pirate talk. If you want to play my pirate game, say arr. Is this a dangerous game? No, Pedro. Grandad Dog has promised me it will be a very safe game. Aww. But it will be exciting. So who wants to play? Arr! Here be the plan. Time was, I had a heap of gold that was mine by right, but I was horn swaddled by one cat and hog. What? Pirate talk is a bit difficult to understand. Captain Hog? took my treasure. Oh. Know you, the Captain Hog is a fearsome pirate. Some of you may already know him as Grandpa Pig. Ah, Grandpa Pig! <laughs> the game is to go to Captain Hog's hideout and get back my treasure without being caught. Hooray! Everyone is excited to be playing the pirate game. Hello, Grandpa Pig. We're on our way. Jolly good. Jolly good. Grandpa Pig and Polly Parrot are guarding the pirate treasure. Be the black galleon fast and the wind at our backs will away. 
What does that mean? Run to the boat! Yo ho ho! Yo ho! <laughs> oh there! Put your life jackets on. <laughs> on Grandad Dog's boat, all the children must wear life jackets. That scurvy dog beard should be here by now. Here's a nice cup of tea, Grandpa Pig. Oh, thank you, Granny Pig. At last. Are we all ready now? Mr. Dogbeard, I need to go to the toilet. And me. And me. And me. And me. And me. What can be keeping them? Hello, Grandad Dog? I thought you said you were on your way. Yes, yes, we're almost there. It's taken a while to get my crew together. Anchors away! Full sail! The children have arrived at Grandpa Pig's orchard. <laughs> the game is to get that treasure without being caught. Hooray for the pirates! Shush, Mummy! I hope there are no pirates around here trying to take my lovely treasure. Pepper and her friends have got the coins without being caught. It's chocolate coins. Everybody loves chocolate coins. Yum, yum, yum. Ah, got you. Grandad Dog has been caught. Try and take my treasure, would you? Tis mine. I won it fair and square. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. Uh, uh, thank you, Captain Hog and Dogbeard, for the lovely pirate game. Oh. You're very welcome. Uh, oh, yes. It's been lots of fun. Happy birthday, Danny! <laughs> this be the best pirate party ever! <laughs> My birthday party. It is Peppa's birthday. It is very early in the morning. It's my birthday. <laughs> George, wake up. It's my birthday. <sighs> I'm going to have a party. <laughs> and Daddy is doing a magic show. <laughs> Quick, George, let's wake Mummy and Daddy up. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are still fast asleep. Wake up. It's my birthday. Wake up. Oof. <sighs> what time is it? It's very late. It's five o'clock in the morning. Yes, the whole day is going. <laughs> OK, let's get your birthday started. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and George are giving Peppa her birthday present. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Peppa. Peppa. Ooh. What is it? I can put it on Teddy. Thank you, everyone. You're welcome, Pepper. I didn't know Teddy was a girl, Teddy. Oh, Daddy. Of course Teddy's a girl. I love my new dress. Thank you, everyone. You're welcome, Teddy. Don't get it dirty. Do you know what's happening next, Pepper? Yes. My friends are coming for my birthday party. And Daddy is doing a magic show. <laughs> no one will know the magician is your Daddy. You will introduce me as the Amazing Mysterio. The Amazing Mysterio. Yes, the Amazing Mysterio. Daddy's been practising his magic tricks all week. My friends are here. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> Here are Peppa's friends. Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, Rebecca Rabbit and Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Peppa. Peppa. Nay. Nay. Come on, children. The party is starting. Hooray! <laughs> Daddy Pig is going to do a magic show. Peppa, remember what you have to say. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the amazing Mysterio. OK, Daddy. 
Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's Magic Daddy. Hooray! For my first trick, Abracadabra. <gasps> wow, it's Teddy. For my next trick, I need a helper from the audience. Me, me, me. me. <laughs> I just need one. <sniffs> Young lady, you put your hand up first. Can you tell the audience your name? <laughs> Susie Sheep. OK, Susie, here are three balls. A red one, a blue one and a yellow one. OK. You have to secretly choose one while my back is turned. OK. Have you chosen one? Yes. Abracadabra! You chose... Yellow. No. Uh, abracadabra. Blue. No. Abracadabra. Red. Yes, it is red. Hooray! Silly magic, Daddy. You said all three colours. Shush, Peppa, don't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, would you like one more trick? Yes, please. Ooh. Close your eyes. No looking. Say the magic words, abracadabra. Abracadabra. Open your eyes. Ooh. Hooray! My banana birthday cake. Blow the candles out, Peppa. <gasps> Hooray! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Peppa. Peppa. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> this is my best birthday ever. <laughs> 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 Zoe Zebra, the postman's daughter. Mr. Zebra, the postman, is delivering a letter to Peppa's house. Zoe Zebra is with her daddy today. She has her own letters to deliver. Hmm. Danny Dog, Susie Sheep, Rebecca Rabbit. Ah. Pepper and George. Just these ones left. Good. Let's get them delivered. Yes, sir. Post! <laughs> Pepper and George love it when the post arrives. We've got two letters. This one's for Daddy Pig. How exciting. Dear Mr Pig, please pay your telephone bill. Oh. What's a bill? It sounds very boring. <laughs> Bills are very boring. Mummy, is the other letter for you? No, this one's for Peppa and George. Wow! A letter for George and me. Please come to my birthday party. Love, Zoe Zebra. Zoe Zebra has invited Peppa and George to her birthday party. Yippee! <laughs> you need to write a reply to Zoe to tell her you are coming to her party. Can you help us write it, Mummy? Of course. Pepper and George are writing a reply to Zoe. <coughs> what would you like to say? Dear Zoe. Dear Zoe. Um, I don't know what to say next. How about, we would love to come to your party. Kind regards, Pepper and George. <laughs> <laughs> what colour envelope shall we use? The red one. Miss Zoe Zebra. And last of all, the stamp. <laughs> the letter is ready to be posted. This is the post box. Here are Danny, Susie, Pedro, Rebecca and Emily Elephant. They are all posting letters. And here is Peppa with her letter. There. Now what happens? Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. Did you get my letter about my party? Yes. And I've written you a reply. Oh, goody. My goodness, so many letters today. And this letter is mine. It is very, very important. Is it for me? Can I open it now? It is for you, Zoe, but it must be delivered before you can open it. That's how the post works. Oh. And with so many letters to deliver today, I'd better make a start. Can George and I come along too? Hop aboard, Pepper and George. 
See you later. Pepper and George are helping Mr. Zebra deliver the post. This is Zoe Zebra's house. This letter is addressed to Miss Zoe Zebra. Miss Zoe Zebra? Zoe Zebra? Zoe Zebra? Zoe Zebra. Oh, all the post is for Zoe. That's my letter. Can I post it? Certainly. <laughs> Peppa loves posting letters. Mummy, look. All these letters are for me. Oh, amazing. Can you read it, Mummy? Dear Zoe, I would love to come to your party from Danny Dog. Susie Sheep's coming to your party too. And Rebecca, Pedro, Emily, Candy, they're all coming to your party. And this letter is from me. It says, we are coming to your party. Love and kisses, Peppa and George. <laughs> Everyone has arrived for Zoe's party. Happy birthday, Zoe! Wow, so many presents. You'll be writing lots of thank you letters, Zoe. Oh, and who's going to deliver all those thank you letters? You are, Daddy. <laughs> but I can help. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig's birthday. Today is Daddy Pig's birthday. Daddy Pig has to go to work. Daddy, I wish you didn't have to work on your birthday. <laughs> so do I. But I'll be home as soon as I can. See you later. See you later. <laughs> While Daddy Pig is at work, we can get all his birthday surprises ready. <laughs> First, we'll make Daddy's birthday cake. We start with butter and sugar and flour. Then we add an egg. And most important of all, the chocolate bits. Ooh. Mummy Pig is making a chocolate cake. Daddy Pig loves chocolate cake. I give it a stir. Mummy, can I stir? Yes, Peppa. Peppa loves stirring. George wants a go. <laughs> OK, George, that's enough stirring. There, Daddy Pig's chocolate cake. Hooray! <laughs> now, we just have to bake it in the oven. Mummy, can I lick the spoon? Yes, you can lick the spoon and George can lick the bowl. Yippee! Pepper and George love chocolate cake mixture. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Daddy Pig. He's missing all the fun. Mummy, can I ring Daddy at work and say happy birthday? That's a nice idea. This is the office where Daddy Pig works. Hello, Mr Rabbit speaking. May I speak to Daddy Pig, please? Someone for you, Daddy Pig. It sounds important. Hello, Daddy Pig speaking. <laughs> Thank you, Pepper. Don't be late home, Daddy. Bye bye. Bye bye. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. <laughs> Thank you. There's just one more thing to do before Daddy gets home. Yes, Daddy's birthday surprise. <laughs> Shh, George. Remember, it's a secret. <laughs> Pepper and George have buckets of water. Mummy Pig has balloons. <laughs> I wonder what Daddy Pig's birthday surprise can be. <laughs> Daddy's home! Quick, back to the house. Daddy Pig is home from work. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Daddy, Daddy Pig! <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Wow, what a lot of candles. That's because you are very, very old, Daddy. <laughs> you must blow out all your candles in one go. <laughs> I'll do my best. <gasps> Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> and here's your birthday present. Thank you. New boots. 
Fantastic! Let's try them out. Pepper, George and Mummy Pig are wearing their boots. <laughs> Daddy Pig is wearing his birthday boots. Daddy Pig has found a little puddle. Let's see if these boots work. The puddle is a bit too little for Daddy Pig. Hmm. What I need is a big puddle. <laughs> Why not try over here, Daddy Pig? Ooh, what's this? It's your special birthday surprise. <laughs> shh, shh. <laughs> what are they up to? A big muddy puddle. Fantastic! <laughs> My birthday boots work perfectly. Would you care to join me in my birthday muddy puddle? <laughs> Daddy Pig loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. This is my best birthday ever! <laughs> <laughs> it's Wendy Wolf's birthday! It is Wendy Wolf's birthday and she has invited all her friends to a party. Happy birthday! Wendy. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Mr. Wolf is blowing up balloons for the party. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow these balloons up. <laughs> I love balloons. <laughs> me too. And me. And, and me. me. And me. Everybody loves balloons. <laughs> Come on, let's dance. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let the balloons fall to the ground. Keep them in the air. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Here is Mrs. Wolf. Who wants bubbles? Me, 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 me. Okay, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow some bubbles. <laughs> I love bubbles. They are a bit like balloons. But they pop when you touch them. Watch. Woo! See? I popped one. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, we've popped all the bubbles. We can always make some more bubbles. Who wants to go? Me! 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 <laughs> Okay. Hooray! <laughs> Are you ready? Yes, Mrs. Wolf. You have to huff. Huff. And you have to puff. Puff. And blow. <laughs> so many bubbles. Pretty bubbles in the sky. Ooh. Look at that big bubble. That's not a bubble, Pedro. That's the full moon. Ah, and you know what you do when you see a full moon? Um... You howl. Ow! Why do you do that? That's what wolves do. We howl at the moon. Wendy, can you teach us how to do that? OK. First, you have to look up at the moon. And then you howl. Ow! 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 Wendy Wolf has taught everyone how to howl like a wolf. Wow! Who did that one? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't any of us. It's a wild animal! Ah. It is Granny Wolf. Happy birthday, Wendy. Hello, Granny. You must all be Wendy's friends. How do you do? Hello, Hello Granny Wolf. Wolf. My, what big ears you've got, Granny Wolf. <laughs> all the better to hear you with. What big eyes you've got, Granny Wolf. All the better to see you with. And what big teeth you've got. All the better to eat birthday cake. <laughs> <Hooray>! <laughs> Wendy, what's that in the middle of your cake? It is a little house made of sticks. Ah! Oh. Time to blow out the candles, Wendy. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow the candles out. <gasps> <laughs> You've blown 
mistake house down. Oh, well done. That's my go. It was quite easy. <laughs> Houses made of sticks are easy to blow down. I always forget. What's your house made of, Mr Pig? It's made of bricks. Not straw? Bricks. Oh, of course. <laughs> that was a great party, Wendy. Yes, that was my best party ever. Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> Happy birthday, Wendy! <laughs> <laughs> The children's fates. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. Mr. Bull is checking the school roof. Moo! Who put this roof on for you? Uh, you did, Mr. Bull. Lovely job. It will last you a lifetime. But it is leaking water. Look, it is going drippity drip. You need a new roof. Oh, dear. Where are we going to get the money for a new school roof? We can do a school fate to get the money. Good idea, Danny. But who would run it? We can. Yes, the children can do it. <laughs> I can do the face painting. I can do the microphone. <laughs> we can have a mummy's and daddy's race. And I can sell balloons. Yes, we will have a children's fate. Hooray! It is the day of the children's fate. All the grown-ups are here. Hello, grown-ups! Danny Dog is in charge of the microphone. Get your money out for the new school roof! Emily Elephant is in charge of the bric-a-brac stall. Roll up! Roll up! All sorts of bits and bobs! What a lot of bric-a-brac, Emily! You will be busy all day selling it. Here is Mr Fox. Mmm, this all looks very interesting. Balloons! Lovely balloons! Would you like a balloon, Madame Gazelle? May I have a red one? How much is it? How much have you got? Oh, of course. We are raising money for the school roof. Look, Madame Gazelle, I've got rid of Everything. Wonderful, Emily. How much money have you raised? Money? Did you not get some money for the bits and bobs? I didn't need to. Mr Fox took it away for nothing. <laughs> get your face painted here. Susie Sheep is in charge of the face painting stall. Hello, Susie. Can I be a mountain leopard, please? No. I can only do fruit. OK. Can I be... A plum! There. Peppa is in charge of the lucky dip. Roll up! Roll up! For your lucky dip! Moo! Hello, Peppa! Hello, Mr Bull. You've got a green face. I'm an apple. Ooh! Would you like to try the lucky dip? OK. What do I do? Just pull a prize out of the barrel. Everyone a winner. Mr Bull has won a dolly. Can I have a go? Mrs Cat has won a digger. Oh, do you want to swap? No, no thank, thank you. you. Mr Bull and Mrs Cat like their lucky dip prizes. <laughs> <laughs> roll up, roll up. Freddy Fox is in charge of the mummies and daddies race. Thank you. It's all to raise money for a new school roof. I'm quite good at running. <laughs> it's not running, Daddy. It's a sack race. Oh. You have to get in the bag and jump over there. <sniffs> as fast as you can. Right. On your marks, get set, go! Oh! And they've fallen down. Oh! Fun, wasn't it? Yes, lots, lots of, of fun. fun. But really, we must thank the children for all their hard work. 
Thank, Thank you, children. children. And we have raised enough money to buy a new school roof. Again. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Pepper's Circus. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and her friends are visiting Granny and Grandpa Pig. Grandpa Pig is putting up a big stripy tent in his garden. It's the circus! Hooray! <laughs> Grandpa, can we see the circus? Circus, Peppa? There's no circus here. Why have you got a big stripy tent then? This is for Granny Pig's garden party. Oh, what's a garden party? It's where grown-ups stand around talking. What a waste of a good tent. A circus would be more exciting. Why don't you make your own circus? Yes, we can call it Pepper's Circus. Have you finished putting up the tent, Grandpa? The guests will be here soon. Granny, we're doing a circus for your garden party. What a splendid idea. Can we dress up? Of course. I'll get the dressing up box. We can be clowns. And strong men. And jugglers. My daddy was in the circus. <coughs> wow. What did he do? He sold tickets. Here. You can all find something to wear in the dressing up box. <laughs> Pepper has found a top hat. Danny Dog has found some spotty trunks and a stick-on moustache. <laughs> Pedro has found a clown outfit. Who wants makeup? Me, please. What does everyone want to be? I want to be the clown. But Peppa, where is your clown costume? Okay, you be the clown. I want to be the strong man. Okay, Danny, you be the strong man. I want to be the juggler. But I wanted to do that. Wow! Okay, you be the juggler. Grandpa, I don't have a job to do. You can be the ringmaster, Pepper. You've got the hat for it. What's a ringmaster? The ringmaster is the boss. Yes! I'll be the ringmaster. <laughs> What do I do? You say, welcome to my circus. See the impossible, the amazing, the incredible feats of daring do. Ooh. Uh, welcome to my circus. It's got amazing feet. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Granny Pig's garden party guests are here. Hello, everyone. You're in for a treat. The circus has come to town. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my circus. Now, please be very scared of the amazing candy cat. <laughs> I was a strong man once. I used to lift tractors. <sighs> See, Emily Elephant juggle potatoes and an egg. <laughs> oh. Now laugh a lot at Pedro Pony. He's a clown. <laughs> Stop laughing. I haven't done the funny bits yet. Ah! That was the funny bit. <laughs> That's what I call funny. Thank you. That is the end of my amazingly impossible circus. Hooray! That is the best circus I have ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Today is the day of the school fete. 
Peppa loves coming to the fete. Here are Peppa's friends. Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, Rebecca Rabbit and Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. I love the school fete. Me too. What do you like best? <laughs> the face painting. I like the balloons. I like the bouncy castle the best. I like everything. Oh, oh. A very good choice, Peppa. See you later, Peppa. See you later. George, what do you like best? Dinosaur. Grr. Oh, dear. There aren't any dinosaurs at the fete, George. Maybe we can get you a dinosaur balloon. Are you sure they have dinosaur balloons, Daddy Pig? I'm certain of it. <laughs> Could George and I get our faces painted first? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Rabbit has painted Peppa's friends as tigers. There you are, Susie. Now you look like a tiger. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I like your face, Susie. Are you a pussycat? No, I'm a tiger. <laughs> Peppa, would you like your face painted? Yes, please. Can I be an elephant? Oh, dear. I don't know how to do elephants. I can do tigers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a tiger, please. There you are, Peppa. Now you're a tiger. <laughs> I'm a tiger. <laughs> George, what would you like to be? Dinosaur. Grr. A dinosaur? Uh, how about a tiger instead? I'm good at tigers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a tiger. <laughs> so am I. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> tigers don't say woof woof. How do you know? Because tigers are big cats. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a cat. Candy, please can you teach us how to be tigers? OK. Tigers creep very, very slowly, and then they jump. <laughs> <laughs> Tigers like to lick themselves clean. But best of all, when tigers are happy, they purr. Hello, children. My goodness, you're all tigers. And I'm teaching them to be proper tigers. <laughs> <laughs> what do you little tigers want to do next? Dinosaur! That's right. We have to find George a dinosaur balloon. <laughs> Let's get you all balloons. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Madam Gazelle. We'd like some balloons, please. Certainly. I've got lots of different ones. Can I have an elephant balloon, please? Here you are, Peppa. Can I have a kangaroo? A lion, please. A monkey, please. A parrot, please. <laughs> oh, yes, I've got all those. <laughs> Most important of all, we need a dinosaur balloon for George. Oh, dear. I do not seem to have any dinosaur balloons. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, George. I've got an idea. Could we have two of the long balloons, please? Watch this, everybody. What is Daddy Pig doing with the balloons? There. Can anyone guess what it is? Is it a kangaroo? <laughs> no. It's a... Dinosaur. That's right. A dinosaur. Daddy Pig has made a balloon dinosaur. Grrr. Dinosaur. Now the bouncy castle! <laughs> Peppa loves bouncing on the bouncy castle. Everyone loves bouncing on the bouncy castle. This is the best school fate ever! <laughs> Pepper and George are visiting Digger World. Digger! Digger! <laughs> George likes diggers. I like diggers too. <laughs> and today, you'll both be driving real diggers. Wow! Here is Mr Potato. Welcome to Digger World, where all your digger dreams come true. <laughs> this is the Sand Digger Ride. Ooh! Pepper and George, jump on board! <laughs> 
Mummy and Daddy Pig, you have to pedal. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, fill up this big bucket with sand. This is fun! Yes, fun! <laughs> Excellent work, children. Now we flip the bucket over, give it a tap, and voila! Hooray! Pepper and George have made a big sandcastle. Let's go to the next ride. This is the wall building ride. <laughs> Stack the soft blocks to make a wall. Hurry up, Mummy! OK, Peppa. <laughs> Pedal faster, Mummy! Oh, I'm going as fast as I can, Peppa. <laughs> Nearly finished. There. A lovely wall. <sighs> Here comes George with a demolition digger. Meow. <laughs> oh, dear. George has knocked down Peppa's wall. George! You naughty piggy! <laughs> oh, building things up, then knocking them down. It's all part of the fun at Digger World. <laughs> this is the grabber machine. How do we play this one? Let's hope it's not pedal powered. Mummy and Daddy Pig do the pedaling. Oh. oh. Pepper and George use the grabber to win a lovely prize. Ooh. There are Mr. Potato dolls or toy dinosaurs to be won. I'm sure. Okay, George, let's get a dinosaur. <laughs> this way, George. <laughs> no, no, that way. Back. Forward, down, hooray! We've got the dinosaur! Oh. The dinosaur toy is too heavy for the grabber. Oh, try again! Oh no! We got a Mr Potato doll! Mm. The Mr Potato doll is just the right weight for the grabber. Aren't you lucky? And he's yours to keep! Oh. But the best news is you have earned your Digger badges! You are fully qualified Digger drivers! Hooray! <laughs> Thank you for visiting Digger World, where all your Digger dreams come true! Bye! Bye-bye! <laughs> I really like Digger World because we get to drive... Stop! It is Mr Bull. What's the matter, Mr Bull? We're building a wall across the road. Digger, digger. <laughs> Mr Bull, can we drive your digger? Oh, I'm afraid children can't drive diggers. But we've been to Digger World. We've got badges. Oh, that's OK then. Hop aboard. <laughs> I'll drive the digger and you can have the important job of pushing the buttons. <laughs> OK, now, push the button. What? This red one? No, the green one! <laughs> ah! The digger has knocked over the new wall. Sorry, Mr Bull. <laughs> Building things up, then knocking them down. It's all part of the fun with diggers. Pepper and George love diggers. Everyone loves diggers. <laughs>